system updates, talk about Black Lives Matter. I had Mark Crutcher of Life Dynamics News on yesterday. And he was saying, and then they mentioned it earlier, yeah, I heard there's some other groups doing this Black Lives Matter, and I hadn't looked it up yet. And then I just posited, I said, hey, maybe you're involved to the pastor. And sure enough, because I was putting two and two together, what state he's in, sure enough, he's the one doing it. So it just shows how we all have these ideas separately and how that's the gift that God gives us, that we're all on the same page. It's really magic. Uh, but I briefly wanted to bring in Mikhail Thalen just for 30 seconds. Uh, Mikhail was about two weeks ago, and I, and I just wanted to ask you, this was separately your idea about, hey, Black Lives Matter, we should talk about abortion, and you wrote some articles about it, not knowing that Reverend Childress was already doing it. That is so exciting. Uh, briefly, tell us about your idea. Yeah, well, I'm a big fan of his uh, Moth, a 21 documentary. It's really, really powerful. And so, you know, Black Lives Matter has been in the news, and uh, it just came to me. I thought, man, yeah, Black Lives Matter, but, you know, abortion is such a thing that's targeted on their community with, you know, over 78% of abortion clinics in Borback communities and, uh, of course, the history of Margaret Sanger. So it just seems something obvious to do. Absolutely. Now, without further ado, I'm going to give Pastor Childress the floor during this short segment and the next segment coming up. Tell us about how you come up with this idea, what you've done, the success you've had, and then let's break down the current black genocide program uh, going on, how that war is going for the globalist. Well, right now, your program does such an excellent job. Um, first of all, I want to let your listeners know, Black Life Matters is something that uh, some entity, whether it be government or anarchists, whoever, they plan to market this to cause unrest in the uh, African American community, especially in the inner cities. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but in my travels, I noticed that this was very orchestrated. And seemingly, these groups came out of nowhere carrying this mantra. But of course, we've been saying Black Life Matters uh, since I've been involved in the pro-life movement and others since 1973. And I knew it was something, too, that God would use these tragic situations uh, with Eric Garner, uh, with Mike Brown, and Trayvon Martin to bring about an awareness in the African American community. I was getting emotional a little bit listening to your testimony, not knowing that I was attached to it and this young man, because I told uh, Greg Cunningham of uh, Center for Bioethical Reform, who, we, who called me on the phone at the same time, I'm saying somebody needs to take Black Life Matters to, on another level and market this, use guerrilla marketing. Use what they're using dollars to push. When we went to the Fayetteville State College, that month was April. And what was on Time Magazine? Black Life Matters. That was the front page of Time Magazine. So the kids had already been saturated with this saying. And so when we came out with Black Life Matters and showed a baby next to aborted fetuses, and saying all black life matters. Uh, they connected with it. And then we had other signs that basically kind of showed that uh, abortion uh, suppresses the black vote. And that killed the administration's attack on us from being on campus. That this wasn't uh, uh, trying to merchandise them or use them politically. We were concerned about their empowerment. And so it really caused the students to have absolutely great conversations. I was, I was so surprised that you were doing that rally when you called. I, I, I said to myself, gosh, others are running with this. This is I was about to, to say, a connection. <laughs> I, I couldn't put my finger on why I was so excited learning that you were doing this before us. It just meant that it was meant to happen and that people were connecting the dots to all this. But look at the university trying to claim that you couldn't come on claiming that you're promoting your ministry. So what? Anybody, if students invite you, should be able to come on a university. Well, Planned Parenthood showed up while we were there. They are so systemically entrenched in the educational and academia. And I learned later while on campus that Fayetteville State College pays for the first abortion for any young lady. Incredible. So, Stay there. I'm going to give you the floor when we come back to break this down. All Black Lives Matter. All Lives Matter. 
And if we don't take care of our people, the children, our veterans, and others, we're all going to end up getting it. We're on the mark. And once you have socialist health care, that's what happens. I want to talk about that with Reverend Childress here in just a moment and give him the floor to break all this down and really talk about the current state of the fight for life. But we can't expect to be a good nation and to have any future. I saw on the news today, it's back in mainstream news about China forcing women to have abortions. They're getting UN awards for that. That's what our elite would like to have here. We can't expect to be secure or have a future or to be blessed if we treat humans like this. You notice we're a major platform uh, as well for folks fighting tyranny on a hundred different fronts. And we've been able to build this operation up to reach more than 20 million people a week. When you count the AM and FM audience, YouTube, Boxy, uh, the people watching over their televisions. And that's thanks to you spreading the word about the broadcast. So please continue to tell your friends and family about the show. Please continue to, in your email, sign off by having Infowars.com forward slash show to find forbidden information. Uh, please continue to realize you are the power of this transmission. You're the reason they're attacking us so much. And I'm willing to be the figurehead because we've got to stand up for the innocence. We've got to beat these globalists. And by the way, I'm not doing some favor there that I'm a hero doing this. I couldn't lay down. Just like when I was a kid, you know, 11 years old and the 14 year old kids, you know, would beat me up sometimes walking home from school. After that happened a few times, folks, I started fighting back. It's an instinct. And so I love my job. I love what I do. I wouldn't have it any other way. But realize that I'm thanking you for all you've done. You are not beside us or behind us or in front of us. You are at the heart of InfoWars.com and this whole operation, your prayers and everything. And when you financially support us buying the Patriot Apparel to meet like-minded people and spread the word, uh, when you buy the high-quality water filters that cut out the glyphosates and fluoride and hundreds of other chemicals, you're not just supporting your family and your health, you're supporting our broadcast, our transmission, what you're doing. It's a win-win. See, good things are symbiotic. Good things uh, build harmony. Good things promote life. Not really rocket science, is it? And that's why we've come up with the best nutraceuticals on the planet. You've heard the rave reviews, the highest quality uh, ingredients, whether it's DNA Force or Super Mill Vitality or Prostagard uh, or Child Ease that uh, doesn't have drugs in it. It just has stuff that focuses and calms children's minds. Works amazingly. You've heard the rave reviews. Winter Sun, uh, Methylcobalamin, Vitamin B12, Secret 12, all of these proprietary. The nascent iodine uh, is the true nascent iodine that so many people are deficient in. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. That's 888-253-3139. We can answer all your questions. Take your order over the phone. 888-253-3139. And notice it's InfoWarsLife.com. We're lovers of life. I want to live a long time. I want my kids to have great lives. I want your kids to have great lives. I don't want to see poverty and ignorance and enslavement and, 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 and diseases and all this stuff that the globalists are pushing. And they make money off the crises they help create. It's a different philosophy, and we've got to get aggressive. Infowarslife.com. Thank you for your support. If you're listening on an AMR FM station. Tell people today and every day. Tune in. If you're a business owner, double down or we're going to lose everything. Buy a billboard for the show or for the station. All, none of us could put billboards up all over the country, but together we can put them up individually or on the side of your barn. Infowars.com. All right, I'm going to shut up and give him the floor because I had to cover news. I, I, I got late today. He's been with us. Uh, Reverend Childers, you've got the floor to break down your black lives. Really do matter. All black lives matter. Uh, absolutely, they're, they're, they're hijacking the crisis in a community to try to create political division. You're just taking it back and, and, and pointing it out. So I do use the word that we're re-hijacking it away, but um, break down um, currently what's happening. Again, blackgenocide.org, and let's get into the real black genocide, the targeting by the Klan, by the Nazis, uh, by Planned Parenthood, by the Rockefellers, of black people. We're not just saying, hey, this is killing half of you. This is really going on. Go ahead. 
Oh, absolutely. Right here in the city of New York, uh, over 65% of all African American births in an abortion. There's more aborted than there is born alive. Nationally, 1,786 a day. And you're saying it's time to fight back. We, we really try to incite the church to fight back. When 52% nationally of all African American births end in abortion, the church has been far too silent. The shedding of innocent blood pollutes the land. Every preacher should understand that if he's sowing seed and the land is polluted, then he's not going to get the return. And this is what's happening in America. We are about to enter into a period of judgment directly from this, the shedding of innocent blood. And as you see how we were all connected on this Black Life Matters, uh, it, it appears to me that God is not pleased with our efforts, and I'm self-included, of really taking this to the level to get into the black community. So this was a gift to us. They're, they're marketing it, and we're using guerrilla marketing and taking it over, and it has been quite effective. There's not a student on any college campus that hasn't heard Black Life Matters, especially if they're African American. So we're going to the HSBCs, the historically black colleges. Uh, we're setting up. We're going to connect them with Facebook. We're going to connect them, uh, let them know there's another chapter in other black colleges. This has not been done. It, need is, it needs to be done. And uh, African-American leadership is not where it should be, but it's beginning to wake up and recognize that basically that the perceived African-American leadership has victimized them. Uh, it was great when in Ferguson where Jesse Jackson was booed out so he couldn't take up an offering. This is something that um, the African Americans are beginning to wake up on. But um, we have to be more diligent and the statistics prove out that we haven't done our job as preachers especially. So we plan to take this not only to uh, HSBC, but we plan to be at the NAACP in July in Philadelphia, and we'll be there for three days with those signs. And uh, I am sure it's going to cause quite a stir because basically they'll have uh, seminars inside saying Black Lives Matters. Well, we're going to have our signs outside, all Black Lives Matters. And if there's anyone who has been facilitating the decimation of the African American community by abortion. It has been the NAACP and profiting from it and merchandising their own constituency. So we're. This is what I do. Is seemingly this is where God has me to uh, uh, labor in, and uh, we're excited that we're beginning to connect with other pastors. Actually, this has uh, this season, this time has been a fruitful time to let them to see that indeed black leadership basically has sold them out. You had um, Robin Kelly of the Congressional Black Caucus, I think from Michigan, actually partnering with Planned Parenthood. And the seminar was about, this is a congresswoman, the seminar was about how to get Planned Parenthood into more <laughs> African American communities. When the, uh, the young man there on the program put out that there's a disproportionate amount of them by design. Folks, this is all systemic. This is all by design. We just have to recognize and acknowledge that. But um, I was listening to your program previously. The, uh, they, they're running test runs on basically on, on uh, causing chaos in the urban community. And this was a part of that. How it was going to all unfold, I do not know. But I, this I do know, that there is a, uh, a concerted effort to begin to cause unrest in the African-American communities, in the inner cities, possibly to bring about martial law, possibly to bring about control. I don't know. Well, you I'll tell you this. I mean, I mean, just interrupt for just a moment with Reverend Childers here, Alex Jones, popping in. If you just joined us. Obviously, why we're launching this, why you launched this back in February is we can take over this destructive White House, George Soros funded balkanization, divide and conquer movement. And we can then try to get other people around the country to have their own black lives 
you know, really do matter events to educate people 